Hey, what's up guys? I hope everyone is having a great day. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, I'll be doing a review on the Yo-Yo Factory Edge. Recently, I competed in the Illinois State Yo-Yo Contest, where I actually happened to place 8th in the Pro Division. While I was there, I decided I wanted to pick up a Yo-Yo Factory Edge. I've had my eye on this Yo-Yo for a while, but never really gotten around to buying it. Also, with the expensive price of $120, links down below, I really wanted to try this yo-yo out before I actually ended up purchasing it. That was perfect because while I was at the contest, they had a couple that I could try out. From the very first throw, I knew I had to have this yo-yo, and I've been playing with this yo-yo like crazy ever since then. So here's my review of the Yo-Yo Factory Edge. Let's go. First, a little bit about this yo-yo. So this is Evan Nagao's signature yo-yo. Evan is an extremely talented player sponsored by Yo-Yo Factory. Before Evan was sponsored by Yo-Yo Factory, he was using a yo-yo that was called the Monster Wide, which is a huge yo-yo. Evan's style is extremely performance-based and is very concentrated on bangers. As a result, the Monster Wide was perfect for him because it gave him the highest probability possible to land those bangers and extreme tricks. And when Yo-Yo Factory approached him to make a signature yo-yo, as a result, you could probably tell he made a yo-yo that was much wider than many other yo-yos. Staying on the topic of width, here are the specs of the yo-yo. Now, just for a little size comparison, here is it in comparison to the Bimetal Superstar. If you want a comparison and a full review of these two yo-yos, leave it down below in the comments. So the reason I chose the Bimetal Superstar to compare this yo-yo is because the Bimetal Superstar is a fairly normal size yo-yo. It may be a bit undersized, but the width and all the stats of it are fairly normal for a yo-yo, so that's why I chose it to compare. So you can clearly see that the edge is much bigger when it comes to gap width and width in general than the Bimetal Superstar. Surprisingly, you'd think that the edge would weigh a ton because I mean, it's huge, but it only weighs 65.2 grams, which is insane, but this is achieved through the bimetal design. Unboxing this yo-yo, we see it comes in a hard plastic yo-yo factory case. This was my first case of this kind, and I didn't even realize it, but this case is meant to be hung on the wall so that you can actually display the yo-yo, which is super cool. In the box, we have a string, the yo-yo, and an instruction guide that I quickly threw away. Instructions. <laughs> Looking at this yo-yo, we see we have a very nice H shape, low walls, a very smooth matte finish, and a comfortable hold in the hand. On the bimetal rims, it says Yo-Yo Factory Edge and some more details about it. Turning the yo-yo over to the cup, we see we have a very simple cup with a small raise in the middle for the axle. The raise does make finger spins not as good, but that's okay. The cup's diameter is also very large, making the yo-yo very stable. Taking this yo-yo apart, we can see that the yo-yo features a standard center track bearing, slim pads, and a short axle. Pretty standard. Now, let's talk about how the yo-yo feels. Because of the large diameter and bimetal design, I immediately felt how powerful this yo-yo is, even when I was just demoing it at the contest. And that right there is the main idea about the yo-yo. It's ridiculously powerful. When you throw the yo-yo down, you can immediately feel its power and long spin time. With it just humming on the string, it just feels intense. Also, during the play, this yo-yo almost never tilts after long tricks. You can feel its insane stability, which is great. You can clearly see also how this powerful spin helps Evan complete all of his insane bangers. Just check this clip out.
this yo-yo is also very extraordinary. Since it is so wide, it is incredibly easy to perform slack tricks, whips, and basically anything you throw at it. It just in general gives you a higher probability of landing your tricks, which is so important for competition. This yo-yo is definitely great for all kinds of tricks. Its lightweight body makes it great for fast tricks, and the low walls make it also great for horizontal. This yo-yo can handle anything you throw at it. Its weight distribution is very heavily concentrated on the bimetal rims, making the yo-yo very stable while still able to play fast. On the topic of grinds, this yo-yo is a beast. The smooth matte finish makes finger grinds perfect, thumb grinds great, and finger spins very easily done. I love how this huge cup allows your finger to easily catch inside while doing finger spins. You may think that palm grinds would not be very easy with the glossy bimetal design. However, since the bimetal is not on the very outside of the rims, they are actually very doable. So basically, every grind is next to perfect. A plus for that. Yeah! I am very confident that this yo-yo would be great for competition. I personally have never used it in competition, but there are a couple key qualities that make this yo-yo great. The gap width is huge, increasing the probability of you landing the tricks. The walls are very minimal, giving you long spin times. The lightweight makes fast tricks easy, and so much more. As I said before, this yo-yo is Evan Nagao's signature yo-yo, and he has greatly succeeded in many competitions with this yo-yo. Just watch this. As you can see, Evan has some really insane tricks that would normally tire another yo-yo out, but the edge just flies through them, no problem. In conclusion, this yo-yo is awesome. Almost every aspect about this yo-yo is perfect, and I would highly recommend this to anyone. The only thing that holds people back from buying this yo-yo, I think, is the price. However, I would say it's worth it. It's such a powerful yo-yo that can handle any trick and is so much fun to play with it. So if you can, try to save the money to get this yo-yo and it won't let you down. Well, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Yo-Yo Factory Edge. If you have any questions about the yo-yo itself, leave them down below in the comments or you can email me. My email will be in the description. Also, I'm sure you're going to want some comparisons with this yo-yo and other yo-yos in my collection. So leave them down below in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and making it to the end of the video. I post weekly videos on Saturdays. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. Well, that's it, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.